Okay, then on unavailability of the input. And academically, the farmers, the first rank was insect based, while the last rank was the diseases. Major insect based damaging maize. Five major species of the insect based were observed by the farmers on the field, and the mostly observed insect based was the stem borer, and the least observed insect based was the aphid. Insect based management practices. Four major management practices were followed by the farmers for the management of insect based on the field, which were botanical, cultural, mechanical, and chemical. And uh, the mostly followed practice was the chemical, while the least followed practice was the botanical by the respondents. On the pesticide application, 37% of the respondents didn't use any chemical pesticide on the field, while on the rest, 63% did 3% use chemical pesticide before any pest occurrence, while rest of the 60% use after certain pests are seen on the field. Reasons for increased use of chemical pesticide. There were four major reasons for the increased use of chemical pesticide. And according to the farmers, the first and the major reason for the increased use of chemical pesticide was difficult biological measures, followed by easy availability of chemical pesticide, use of improved variety, and lastly, increased pesticide resistance in paste. Management practices based on effectiveness, economic, and safety from farmers' point of view in the study area. According to the, um, on the, there were four management measures, cultural, mechanical, botanical, and chemical. And the most effective one, uh, according to the farmer, was the chemical, while the least effective was the botanical. The most economic, uh, according to farmers, was the mechanical, and the least was the chemical. And the most safe, according to the farmers, were botanical, and the least was the chemical. While training on pest management, most of the farmers had training on the pest management, which was 62% of, out of the total, while 38% didn't attain any training related to pest management. Now, knowledge on IPM and pest trap. Regarding the knowledge on IPM, uh, out of the total, 23.3 only 23.3% of the respondent had any knowledge in the IPM or had heard the term integrated pest management. And uh, on the pest trap, the image of a pest trap was shown to the farmers and their response were recorded. And out of the total, only 16.7% of the respondent had any knowledge in pest trap. Now, on discussion, maize stem border is the most common pest of maize. About 20 to 80 percent of plants damaged due to maize stem borer. Due to lack of knowledge and other management measures, chemical pesticide is being used, which is in increasing order. Aslam et al. reported that very few farmers were using plants as insect pest control methods in the field. Now, for the conclusion, uh, my research, my study concluded that insect pest with a major constraint for maize production in Bishwakum. Among the insect pests, increasing infestation of maize stem borer was a major concern. The most commonly used pest management practices was the use of chemical pesticides. Because of lack of uh, proper knowledge and difficulty of the other management practices, the use of chemical pesticides were increasing. Now, my suggestions are studies relating to maize pests should be carried out frequently. Formal and informal training for the diagnosis and proper management of insect pests should be provided to the farmers. Training on alternative pest management to reduce reliance on pesticide as well as to reduce cost of pest management should be provided to farmers. Government need to develop mechanism for enforcing the regulation for the overall management and use of pesticide adopting FAO guidelines. Farmers education should be promoted in proper use of pesticide regarding selection of low-risk pesticide and safe handling of pesticides. My acknowledgement towards supervising committee, faculty of agriculture AFU, PMAMP, staffs and members of Maid Zone Westrukum, family and my friends, all the respondents of the study area for their help and support. Here are some glimpses of the survey. Thank you. Thank you, Monica, for your timely presentation. Actually, you finished your life. Uh within 10 minutes sure. uh, questions suggest now our external examiner dr santos maratha okay thank you, thank you okay thank you monica for the nice presentation your supervisor is the uh, exact uh, that uh, from the exact field uh, so i have uh, some of the question few questions to you only uh, uh, is your demographic information you take on the lots of the demographic not a few of the demographic information you have taken uh, either this socioeconomic demographic information is useful to fulfill your objective or not what do you think i don't think so sir monica are you hearing me yes sir, i'm listening I don't think so, sir. It is not useful for according to objective. Uh, 
डेमोग्राफिक इन्फर्मेसन ले फुलफिल करना हेल्प अब्जेक्टिव फुलफिल करना हेल्प कर कतई वाले सोधे कि मैं मैं मत बोले नसुने को मोस्ट अफ द प्रेजेंटर्स दैट रैंक द प्रब्लम डिफरेंट प्रब्लम्स रिटेड टू द प्रब्लम्स इन आइदर फाइव पोइंट स्केल और द सेवेन पोइंट स्केल बट यू यू द फोर पोइंट स्केल इज इट हेव यू टेकन सम अफ दैट रिफ्रेस ये सर रिफ्रेस लिखे थे सर तर मैं एक्जैक्टली मत कर I don't know whether it is uh, or not. Hey? There is a solution. Path or Satma Gadi Raja and social scientist also suggest uh, for the use, mostly use for the five point scale rather than seven point even seven point scale. And uh, another my question uh, to you is when to apply the pesticide? We have uh, there is the some of the uh, respondent told that it is applied when just seen, when that there is the some damage in the field, uh, when there is the increase increase in the population of the pest. In your opinion, what is the exact time of the pesticide application? Mm, I think so before uh, the insect pest are seen. Is it? देख पे आदन के पैल राख सर मोस्टली अब एटा पैटर्न में एवट खाली इन्सेक्टर देखी रख हर एक वर्ष भाई अगड़ी नहीं इन्सेक्ट पेस्ट हाल दिए तो किस में अगड़ी हाल दिए पीछे धीरे डैमेज कर पेस्टिड सरी सर पेस्टिड हाल दिए पीछे तो अनुसार डैमेज कर हाल मिले नस अब नया देखिने में तो अगड़ी नहीं हालने कुछ तो What is contact and the systemic pesticide? Is there any difference between contact and systemic pesticide? Yes, sir. Contact pesticide बने कुछ ही अब plant को जून part में तो pesticide पौरुषत क्या है तो part ले मात्रा से ये करे तो contact बाको part ले मात्रा resist तो करे पे तो part और उमा से resist कर सा बने ऐसे systemic pesticide में से ये उटा माले सी पूरे plant को system में ही फॉइल ले रहा जान सा बने लगता है। अब बने कुछ इसको contact insecticide बने को क्यों होता है सुबह Uh, do you know any one name of the contact insecticide? No, sir. Actually, what is the difference between cultural and mechanical uh, pest management measures? Mm -hmm. Sir, in uh, cultural uh, pest management, uh, the mainly uh, uh, just the TDs are doing the TDs and uh, clean cultivation are regarding that one. So mechanical one, because if you are carrying just the पेस्ट ट्रैप्स यूज करने एंड पिकिंग कलेक्ट कर क्रस करने कल्चर में एक्जैक्टली पेस्ट ऊ भाप हमें आउटर वेज जैसे टी डेज अभी ट्रैप क्रप लगाकर पेस्ट कंट्रोल कर ट्रैप क्रपिंग My last question is, what is the economic threshold level? Do you know what is the uh, threshold level and economic threshold level? Uh, so economic threshold level, Bani. So, see, ah, uh, to uh, to point, Zang or see economic damage zone, Zang, Bani, sir. Economic, ah, uh, to damage level, that is, see, economic loss, Muna Thal, Zang, Bani. So, to threshold cross, Kari, Bani, see, economic loss, Zang. The threshold cross, Kari, Bani, economic loss, Zang. So, the one that Thal, Zang, economic loss, Zang, Bani, is it? कलर बैंड यूज इन केस अफ दाइड समटाइम्स ग्रीन येलो रेड ब्लू डू यू नो 
जैसे दे आर यूज तर स्पेसिफिक पेस्टिसाइड में अब कुन कुन हो कुछ स्पेसिफिक पेस्टिसाइड में कुन हो देन व्हिच वन इज द सेफेस्ट पेस्टिसाइड इन बेसिस ऑफ द कलर ग्रीन वन सर देन द द मोस्ट पोइजनस और हार्मफुल पेस्टिसाइड रेड सर देन इन बिटवीन द ब्लू एंड येलो व्हिच वन इज सेफ आई थिंक येलो सर Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Minda, sir. From my side, that's only because you have a lots of idea related to that. That's why. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any questions on insects and insect science? Actually, in even the best science. Uh, actually, I was expecting Monica uh, would be able to respond to all of the questions raised by the non-expert field. Actually, you know, uh, it was surprising that you couldn't answer many of the questions. I was just surprised because you know. Uh, I thought you would be responding many of the questions nicely. Sir. Sorry, sir. I think I got nervous. Oh, probably you got you didn't get prepared on those things, these theoretical understandings, and you were a bit more focused on presenting your research, isn't it? Maybe, sir. Uh, might be that again. You should actually you should have some basic concepts. You know, you are be being a, like a graduating student soon, and probably you'll be a, like responsible person in agriculture soon. So. it is it is actually a must that you should have better i mean basic understanding conceptual understanding of your uh, studies what you have done across okay across the bsc agriculture i don't know most of the questions are really very simple and you couldn't answer so probably we are not going on that and i i i request and you to incorporate uh, relevant comments uh, actually relevant to thesis now okay some to raise and even i will i will give you more comments Okay, on sir. your thesis on your thesis again okay, okay so there were some issues raised by santosh sir regarding this uh, social survey and things okay i also mentioned that you have to link the data that you have collected okay means okay, uh, uh, even if this demographic and information you have to link uh, this with the responses uh, of the farmers regarding pest management or the economy of household is affecting Uh, like like selecting pest, I mean control measures, and like that you have to link the data you collected, okay, or data you have presented even in your thesis. Not only this presentation, even if in in thesis what you have written, uh, the data should have uh, should have some sort of links. Okay, sir. Okay, we'll work on that later also. So again, thank you, Martha, sir, for so so many insightful comments to Monica. Probably this. Questions also will strengthen her capacity, and she will feel that he, she has to still uh, actually empower herself to respond to many of the questions, even by other people in in the future, even in your career. Okay. Okay, sir. Well, uh, now uh, we have to finish by nine thirty, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, because we we still have we we had seven. Participants and only four. We still have three. Yeah, three left. So now I request uh, G1. What's that? Yes, sir. Uh, can you present now? Good morning, everyone. This is me, Mohit Pawel, final semester student of B.S. Agriculture at Agriculture and Forestry University, Chitwan. Without any delay, let me begin uh, my presentation uh, entitled "Farmers' Perception on Honeybees as Pollinator in Seed Production at Western Rupam." On the advisory committee, Dr. Mindas Bokhari Sir was assigned as the major supervisor. Navrash Krishna Sir was assigned as the site supervisor, and Vinod Kumar Bhattray Sir was assigned as the member supervisor. Here is the outline of the presentation. Let's begin with introduction. Vegetable seeds are high-value, low-volume commodities essential for economic development of remote areas. According to the report presented by uh, Kisan Kalagi Unnat Bio Vision Karyakram (KUBK), only half of the vegetable seed demand of Nepal is being fulfilled through domestic supplies. Western Rukum predominantly is the highest seed producing district of the country, producing 9.75 percent of total national vegetable seeds. Role of pollinators is significant in vegetable seed production, and Nepal has potential of 1 million beehives producing over 10,000 metric ton of honey annually. Statement of problem. The role of bees as crop pollinators have been largely ignored, despite having vast potential to uplift national income. Around 40 percent of wild bee species could have been threatened globally. Despite the benefits of pollination to high-value crop systems, the perception of farmers on pollination management have been largely overlooked. According to the 
the study of rock and sunders there are limited researches available exploring local knowledge on insect pollination service rational of study recognition of the knowledge gap and preference of farmers toward pollinators identifying threatening agricultural practices toward pollinators like honeybee and their biodiversity documentation of local honeybee species and farmers knowledge on honeybee's role as pollinator the objectives of study are mentioned as broad objective and specific objectives the broad objective was to understand the perception of farmers regarding the role of honeybees as pollinators whereas the specific objectives were to document farmers know how of pollinators and to list out the factors influencing honeybee status in study area review of literature was performed under different headings such as local national and global scenario of seed production pollinators role in crop pollination role of honeybee as pollinators in vegetable crops the survey was conducted in chorzahari municipality of western rukum district in my site and this area is also the major command zone of command area of uh, seed pro- vegetable seed production of nepal preliminary field visit was done to gather information regarding socio cultural setting demographic and topographic features of the state area questionnaire was developed and pre tested to 10 percentage of the sample size to finalize the design questionnaire out of total registered seed producing farmers in vegetable seed zone office 60 were selected through simple random sampling procedure both primary and secondary data were collected and primary data collected from seed producing farmers within the state area mainly household survey was performed for primary data collection along with key informant interviews secondary data were collected from articles journals documents and publications collected data were tabulated and analyzed using excel and libri office calc software categorization of the farmers were done on the basis of presence or absence of hive mean standard deviation frequency and percentage were computed for descriptive statistics data were analyzed using t test and chi square test range of responses were recorded by showing pictures of pollinators indexing and ranking of the options were were done by applying rank based question approach so rank based question approach involves the formula which was derived by subvarnatham 1988 and is present in the uh, and is displayed in the screen itself characteristics uh, first of all all the respondents were classified as farmers with hive and farmers without hive out of total 60 respondents 36 uh, farmers were found to have at least one or more hive in their home or in their field whereas remaining 24 farmers uh, were found to have no any hive in their home or in their field so mean and standard deviation of different variables such as as a respondent family size of respondents male members in the respondent's family number of female member in respondent family uh, active population in respondent's family dependency ratio etc were calculated and and are tabulated uh, in the table to find out if there is any pattern in the in between the mean of two categories based on different variables t test was conducted and uh, here no any significant difference was observed between two categories on the different variables again different categorical variables are also classified by using chi square uh, also and ethnicity of respondent the value the numerical value presented in the table represents a uh, frequency and the value inside the parentheses are the percentage while performing the chi square test ethnicity of the respondent uh, p value under ethnicity of the respondent is less than 0.1 so we can say that with 10% level of significance uh, brahmin farmers are more likely to have hive in their house and dalit farmers are more, more are less likely to have hive in their home or in the field responses of the farmers were recorded by asking them if pollinators uh, role is important in the environment and 68% of the respondents thought that pollinators play important role in environment whereas 17% of uh, respondent does not believe uh, pollinators to play important role in the environment rest 15% had no idea about the pollination and its role in environment a picture of b feeding on mustard plant was shown and they were asked to select any one option Uh, out of given five that is very positive positive neutral negative and very negative and as we can see in the chart uh, in the screen uh, most of the responses collected were towards positive and very positive category while classifying the response according to the gender we can say that male farmers are more uh, male farmers responded more as positive and very positive as compared to that of female farmers and female farmers or female respondents they responded more as neutral or negative uh, negative while seeing the a picture of anibi on mustard plant benefits of b were asked to mention uh, by the farmers and honey was mentioned 55 times out of 60 uh, which is the highest uh, followed by pollination aesthetic quality propolis and nectar 
perception of seed production in presence of honeybees. 42% of the farmers believe that seed production is higher in presence of honeybee in their field. Similarly, 20.75% of farmers believe that seeds um, believe that uh, honeybees are culturally valuable for seed production in their field. There were some negative uh, perception as well, such as uh, bee presence of honeybee cause increased uh, pest or disease incidence in their field. Uh, honeybees cause difficult intercultural operation. Honeybees are danger to farmers and honeybees damage in standing crops as well. Ranking were done by asking the reasons uh, behind declining seed production and out of different uh, out of total 60 respondents, first of all, uh, 11 respondents, they did not thought uh, seed production are, has been declined in the long run. And, uh, and uh, out of the remaining uh, respondents who thought seed production is being declined, uh, they were asked to rank the different problems that caused the declination in the seed production. And overuse of chemical inputs was scored highest and is, was ranked top with 53.33 score, followed by declining pollinators po uh, population, difficult water management, change soil quality, and new or improved varieties. Farmers were asked about their time of pesticide application and 37.93% of the farmer um, responded that they apply pesticide whenever they are free without any fixed time, uh, whereas 13.79% of the farmer, uh, they responded that they apply pesticide early in the morning, 22.41% of the farmer, they apply pesticide during daytime and 25.86% uh, of the farmer apply pesticide during the evening time. Different reasons of declining honeybee po uh, population uh, were asked and out of uh, the 60 respondents, first of all, eight uh, respondents, they mentioned that they still see plenty of bees um, and they could not uh, respond on any reason of declining honeybee po population. So out of those who think that honeybee population is being declined, uh, 48 responses were recorded for overuse of pesticide, 40 responses were recorded uh, for increase in temperature, 25 responses were recorded for change in land use pattern and 28 responses were recorded for loss of habitat. Ranking of the problems were performed on uh, ranking of problems that threatens pollinators uh, survival were done and um, as we all, all can see that pesticide application rate in time was ranked at top with 98.5 score value uh, followed by uh, climate change, destruction of floral paths, uh, destruction by pathogen and human disturbance. Discussion. Local name of native honeybees like Zua Mauri, Dari Mauri were not mentioned by any respondent of age below 28, which shows the lack of knowledge of native pollinators among young farmers. Female farmers exhibited greater negative reaction on honeybee image than male farmers, which concurs with Calvert and Perry 1987. Farmers generally showed willingness toward adoption of bee conservation activities, which concurs with findings by Zhang et al., who also noted high willingness of farmers to participate in eco compensation projects. I have concluded my uh, survey findings under different four points, which are farmers perceive honeybee as environmentally and culturally essential insect. Promoting and enhancing honeybee's value to farmers is a realistic way to ensure pollinator conservation. Population of pollinators is declining due to use of toxic agrochemicals, climate change, and loss of natural habitats. Overall, farmers perceive honeybees as a significant member of their field and have greater willingness to learn more about them despite poor extension activities and resources. Suggestions. Targeted pollinator promotion activities should be initiated for female farmers as they exhibited more negative response than male farmers. PMAMB should focus on adding specialized resource center for promotion of pollinators, mainly B, as per farmers' interest. Media platforms should be introduced to share native knowledge of uh, older farmers to younger farmers. Strict rules can be applied regarding time of pesticide application in the field. And training, extension, and resource activities should be increased with participation of the seed producing farmers. I am acknowledged to my supervisory committee, respondents of the South Zahari municipality, all staff of Seed Zone, Western Rukum, Faculty of Agriculture, AFU, whole team of PMMP, PIU Saldan, friends, seniors, and juniors. Here are some of the glimpses of my survey research. Thank you. So now the floor is open for questions, suggestions, and uh, <clears throat> any compliments uh, more presented. Uh, now it is done, actually, yeah, Santos uh, Marata, sir, for the questions, actually, suggestions, and for the improvement here. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Minda, sir. Thank you, Moit, for the nice presentation. My, my, I just a small one. There, 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 just uh, to evaluate. I have uh, read the, some issues mm, or uh, uh, ask the question. Mm, 
in the likewise the in the earlier uh, presentation in the monica's uh, presentation is also there is the time of application of the pesticide or somewhat else i also ask you that uh, what is the uh, which time is uh, recommended for application of the pesticide in the time of day that is the morning evening or the midday uh, which time is uh, that is, uh, do you recommend for the farmers to apply the pesticide <clears throat> i recommend uh, to apply pesticide during evening where, when uh, most of the bee are returned to their uh, hives because we mainly for it uh, during daytime when temperature is little high and like there is bright sun so i think yeah they should farmers should apply pesticide during evening time Mm. That that is from the your perspective, your uh, that is the conservation perspective. But the farmers supply the pesticide for to kill the pest, not for conserving the other beneficial insect. Which time, uh, maybe in case of the evening, I don't know that uh, the uh, exact scenario. Maybe there is the especially in case of the winter, uh, there is the high dew dew presents and that. Uh, uh, dilute some of the pesticide, especially the fungicide and the herbicide. I don't know about the insecticide uh, in this scenario. And then dilute and uh, sometimes that uh, has not worked. And so I don't yeah. know. That's I why I'm asking you. For that, from that perspective, I think morning would be better because uh, they would be, you know, it is so I think, yeah, from that perspective, maybe morning is better. Sometimes there is the due to the bright sunshine, there is the uh, maybe pesticide, maybe detoxify. Thinking regarding the all issues, morning, early day, one, the cigar, the oki, the tin, the oki, the oki, the best. What do you think? Um, no, sir, I, I exactly, I can't recommend that's just one, but sorry, sir. And uh, why the ladies farmers, they uh, are negative uh, towards the bee visit? Why? What? What is the reason? Because that is due to the awareness or due to the uh, lack uh, there is the education or the knowledge about the bee what what may be the reasons because like just like uh, ladies or the female uh, they are not negative there may be the some other factor associated with uh, that uh, uh, gender uh, maybe the education awareness or the uh, what 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 these factors are okay, what sir. do you think Okay, sir. First of all, uh, the survey was conducted uh, during before our exam, right? So an analysis was done after exam. So I could not verify by going back to the same site. But while uh, studying in the other paper that I have also cited, uh, it is it, in that paper the thing is written that females are more more due to the fear factor. They they uh, don't you know they are less likely to uh, explore more about uh, this insect. So and and that, that caused them to have little uh, less knowledge than male and so and th that is the reason uh, behind negative uh, attitude of female uh, which was uh, presented on the paper but it uh, it uh, maybe it, um, it but it was not verified from my side it was just an influencer uh, you have also collected the data for the high those farmers which have the high is there any farmers that have modern hype in your uh, study yes sir only one farmer was found to have modern hype so i did not mention that in my you know okay. analysis okay then uh, in earlier uh, socio-economic presentation earlier student presentation that uh, ranking of problem mm, you the different type of the uh, that formula i know but uh, uh, what they do is they rank the problem based on the score by sorting so when the body value one two three four got the serially racket you in your presentation that is that is the second third one first fifth and the fourth got it uh ranking thing got a problem with that is key is clearly there but which one is 
रिकमेंड फर द राइटिंग सब भाई बड़ी प्रब्लमेट्रिक टप में लेखने हो कि यतापटी प्रब्लम रेखे ये रैंक स्किल दिए विच विच वन इज सुइटेबल वट डू यू थिंक सर इन माई ओपिनियन दोज प्रब्लम्स विच वेर आइडेन्टिफाइड ड्यूरिंग के आई आई टू बी यू नो विच वेर प्राइरिटाइज ड्यूरिंग के आई आई सुड बी इन टप सो सो आई आई डिट दैट how can we justify that the problem uh, that is more problematic in case of the kii is uh, observed at the le- uh, least uh, le- not at least uh, they are uh, uh, lower in case of the household survey why is that happen sir maybe uh, either sample size was little less or maybe uh, during kii only few person you know the uh, like leaders of uh, cooperatives were done Uh, were asked or uh, interviewed uh, so i think maybe there is uh, difference in their opinion maybe have you tested the questionnaire pre testing uh, yes sir okay and uh, how the sample size is fixed in your study uh, i have used rao soft uh, website and okay. uh, yeah okay my last question is uh, that uh, uh, in the pesticide that kill the uh, insect i know but uh, it it to you for fungicide and herbicide also if the fungicide and the uh, herbicides that also kill the bee what do you think yeah i think so because uh just to the plant to bitra bitra pasi sake pachi ta te ras chusta heri i think yeah that would be ample to uh, okay okay thank you thank you moit for the nice presentation thank you mindas sir thank you Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Moit, and thank you, Murata, sir, for asking so many questions and nice question. I think uh, again, I want to actually uh, yeah, uh, give some give some answer probably. Uh, so even our participants might get some ideas. Actually, uh, Dr. Murata asks many very good questions, especially the time of uh, application of pesticides. Actually, uh, keeping. Uh, i mean considering the actually these pollinators uh we have to uh, actually think about the cost about the phenology of the plants uh, that that means anthesis opening of flowers because honey bees or other bees are only uh, visit the flowers after the uh, actually visit the plants after the flowers open so uh, different plant have different actually time of flowering so we have to consider that again if you have actually monoculture system i mean there is particular type of species flowering so we have to first consider the anthesis of the i mean flower opening time okay so that is one of the thing and regarding the pesticides application for pest control actually we have to consider the dial activities of the pest species i mean when the pest will be active if you are using contact poison probably you have to move focus on that time which time they will be more active if the night active insects are the pests so the best way to actually use contact poison is night but uh, it might be not possible practically so that actually we have to consider many more things to adjust the timing of actually spraying pesticides considering both the pests targeting pests and non targeting our and beneficial insects including pollinators so these are some actually very interesting and very you know complex interactions among uh, these different organisms actually pollinators and insect pests and even our crop species i mean plant species so these are very really good question raised by santosh maratha and probably this might be interest to others also and one was very good question again regarding the impacts of these fungicides and other in insect fauna this is again really interesting question regarding these uh, beneficial insects actually fungicides or even herbicides okay uh, suppose one is using herbicide means destroying the habitat of uh, beneficial insects so that indirectly impacts actually uh, beneficial and harmful in, uh, insects that might not impact directly or directly kill the insect pest or pollinators but uh, it might be impacting by destroying the habitat okay so this is also again interesting because uh, many pollinators they again visit the wild flowers so there will be impact of using herbicides and actually other type of chemicals uh, that directly actually destroy the habitat so these are very good interactions actually Uh, among the our actually ecosystem components and ecosystem these uh, you know uh, 
uh, the species interacting in the environment. So we have to be very much thoughtful and uh, have some actually like uh, you know holistic uh, approach of understanding the system. So so we can devise or we can innovate something interesting to control our actually to manage our pests or to protect our beneficial IE organism. Uh, these are the few of the responses on behalf of Mohit, actually, to all the participants. Okay. And our Thank you, examiner. Yes, yeah. our, our external Thank examiner you. and all the participants. Uh, thank you again, Mohit. Uh, you are confident. You were confident in presenting. Actually, we will compliment. We will give you some comments at the last. Uh, probably, we will summarize about all of your presentations. I mean, considering all of the participants. The second last presenter uh, is. Are Are you there? Actually, who is that? G uh, one. Okay, sir. Can I present, sir? Yep. The time is starts. Namaste and welcome. A respected teacher and my dear friends, today I am going to present my lead title on pesticide use and other indigenous methods in vegetable production in West Tugum. Uh, my supervisory committee, major supervisor is Dr. Minraj Pokhrel, member supervisor is Dr. Uh, sorry, Rajendra Koirala, site supervisor is Navra Shrestha. Outline of the presentation is as follows. Introduction, background of the study, vegetable seed production is activities of comparative advantage in West Tugum. West Tugum contributes 9.75% of total national vegetable seed. Disease and pests are the major factor not achieving the targeted seed yield of vegetable. According to EPA, uh, pesticide is any substance or mixture of substance intended for preventing, destroying, repelling, or mitigating any pest. Statement of the problem farmers use pesticide haphazardly and do not use any safety measures. Farmers rarely use alternative methods such as IPM, biopesticide, and botanical pesticides. Incidence of pests and disease such as white gob, cabbage butterfly, lead blight, or potato are the major problems. Rational of this study, use of pesticides are not documented in West Trugum. Different constants leading to a use of pesticide will be identified. The study will identify the different local methods used to control the pest. Finding will be useful to develop the strategy for improvement in pesticide handling practices in vegetables in West Trugum. Objective of this study, general objective, to document the use of chemical pesticide and other indigenous method in vegetable in West Trugum. Specific objective, to identify different non-chemical methods to control pests in West Trugum to document the use of pesticide by farmer to manage the pest in West Rugum, to analyze the effect of socioeconomic actor of different farmer on the use of pesticide. Literature review was obtained from various journal, abstracts, thesis, books, internets, and it was done under the following headings. Materials and methods, study site. My study sites was Sourzari municipality, Musikot municipality, and Sani very rural municipality, which in the uh, West Rugum district, and there is a map showing study Size. Sources of data. Primary sources was face-to-face -face interview technique with help of pre-tested questionnaire, key informants interview, focus group discussion, and secondary sources also used from journals, research articles, reports. Survey design and data collection techniques, preliminary field visit, preparation of questionnaire, pre-testing of questionnaire, final questionnaire preparation, field survey, focus group discussion, key informants interview. Sample size and sampling technique. 40 respondents were selected from Saurzari municipality, Mushikot municipality, and Sani very rural municipality, purposely. Methods and technique of data analysis. Data were tabulated and analyzed using Microsoft Excel in IBM SPSS version 25. Descriptive statistics was used. Compare means was also used to analyze the effect of errors of experience of pesticide use on the mean of pesticide application rate in the field. Multiple response variable was also used for multiple choice question. Uh, similarly, for rank question, rank score of the option were calculated using the Microsoft Excel by using the formula. Rank score of the option is equal to summation FI n plus 1 minus i. Results in discussion. A farmer's perception on cost, uh, cause of pest and disease. 37.8% uh, farmer have said that it was a climatic factor for the cause of pest and disease, which is followed by the lack of farmer manner, uh, followed by hybrid seed, followed by unable to provide the needed dose following year, and uh, followed by not known at the last. Time of the day when pesticide is applied by the farmer, evening or late afternoon was the major time when uh, pesticide is applied by the farmer. Uh, morning and afternoon was uh, um, followed uh, followed uh, to evening or late afternoon, which is followed by laser time. Alternative methods used by the farmers, plant parts and S was the Major methods used by the farmer, uh, about 62.5% farmer used this and uh, followed by cattle urine in S by 22.5% farmer and followed by S only. Farmer's knowledge on beneficial insect, negative effects and waiting trade. 
um, 78.6% knows known about the benefits, beneficial insect and 21.7% were unknown about it. 97.5% were known about the negative effect and 0.5% were unknown about it. Similarly, 71.8% were known about the waiting trade and 28.72% were unknown about the waiting trade. But not everyone followed the waiting trade, even though knew the term. Uh, participation in training of biological or cultural methods by the farmer. 42.5% uh, farmer uh, participated in used in their field. Uh, similarly, 27.5% farmer participated in not used in their field. Uh, similarly, 30% farmer have not participated in the training. Uh, waiting trade in days after pesticide application. 47% uh, farmer uh, consume the vegetable after uh, 10 to 15 days of pesticide application. 30% uh, farmers uh, consume the vegetable after 5 to 10 days of pesticide application. Similarly, 13% farmers follow the waiting period and 10% do not follow the waiting period or use whenever they are necessary. The major pesticide used by the farmer in West Tukum with their trade name, generic name and dose is given uh, with the insecticides named Superman, Imida Plus, Delphin, Cyper Plus, NAC Plus and Fungicide, Nativo, All Caraloxil and Subclean as herbicides. Preparation of final pesticide for use in vegetable crops. 58.23% uh, farmer prepare at home, 26.61% uh, farmer prepare in the field and 15.16% farmer prepare at other places. Uh, pesticides containers disposal after use, 60% uh, farmers bury in the soil and bond, 20% uh, farmer dispose in the crop field and forest, 10% uh, farmer throw in the water sources and 10% use uh, reuse the containers in the home. Uh, farmers response regarding effectiveness of pesticide, 5% um, have said that it was highly effective. 29% uh, have said that it was moderately effective and 30% have said that it is less effective and 36% farmer have said that it was, it was not effective at all. Methods or sprayer used by the farmer to spray the pesticide. Knapsack sprayer was the major pesticide, major methods uh, or uh, uh, sprayer used by the farmers, uh, which is followed by the hand operated sprayer, followed by foot pedal sprayer, followed by power sprayer and broom. Farmers response on the use of pesticide in relation to pest tolerance. 57.5% uh, use the pesticide after pest occurrence on the field. 22.5% uh, farmer use the pesticide before pest occurrence and 20% use the pesticide after the observation of the damage of crop. Rank of pesticides used by the farmers in vegetables. A fungicide was the major type of pesticide used with the rank score of 145 followed by the insecticide, rodenticide and herbicides. Uh, response of ranking of farmers response regarding the use of non-chemical methods. Uh, long time to visualize the effect was the major reason uh, for in low use of uh, non-chemical methods, uh, followed by the no knowledge of natural predators, uh, followed by the lack of training, and followed by the unavailability of biocontrol measures. Uh, ranking of farmers' response regarding problems of pesticide. Uh, no technical knowledge was the major problem, followed by poor governmental supports, uh, followed by lack of equipment, and uh, followed by pesticide unavailability. One way ANEVA was also performed to test whether there was a difference in a mean of application rate between the farmers of different years of uh, pesticide use experience. Uh, and it was found the p value is 0.537, which was greater than 0.05. So we reject the null axis. So there was no difference in the uh, mean of application rate between the group of people of different year of experience of pesticide use. Conclusion uh, Farmers do not follow safety and protective equipment during pesticide application. Farmers were unaware about the use of biological pesticide. Uh, chemical pesticides are even not effective in managing the pest. Limited knowledge on application methods and pesticide formulation. Poor governmental support and poor technical knowledge will measure constraints in effective use of pesticide. Suggestion. Farmers know how unsafe handling of pesticide is very low. Therefore, it needs policy and program intervention. A vegetable seed grower must be provided with a pesticide handling and application technique uh, through different media. Strict rules can be applied regarding time, dose, types of pesticide application in the field. Farmers will be focused on the non-chemical pesticide by PMMP by establishing its different research and training center. Uh, acknowledgement goes to the supervisor committee, all the respondents, all the staff, subsidies on Rugum Moist, faculty of agriculture, AFU, PMMP, PIU, Solan, friends, seniors, and juniors. Uh, some glimpse of my survey research. Thank you. Okay. You are also is within time frame, less than 10 minutes. So now the floor is open for uh, any questions, uh, queries, and suggestions, and even the compliments. So 
Now, uh, Dr. Maratha, sir, for... Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mindar, sir. Thank you, Jivan, for the nice presentation. I have some of the simple suggestions to you. Uh, try to... Uh, that you not try. You have must uh, write the municipality main, uh, name in the that is start from the capital letter. You must have uh, uh, put the figure and the table titles in the formal presentation, not this one, but in the upcoming presentation. And then you must have draw the conclusion based on your objective, um, that all objective are fulfilled or not, uh, rather than uh, summarizing your result. These are my suggestions. And uh, I have some of the uh, questions to you. Um, farmers told that the uh, hybrids, uh, they are more likely to damage by the insect pest or there is the more problem is a problem of the disease in the hybrids it, it, uh, what do you think it is true or uh, farmers simply told that what do you think yes uh, farmer told that uh, the new seeds are brought nowadays but uh, they give the high yield this year but uh, even yield is high they are not they are highly susceptible to disease and pest they they have said that um, in that uh, in our traditional time it was not used to be such disease uh, but nowadays this type of seed come and we are in huge trouble they used to say this uh, do you think uh, you have also uh, think that hybrid are more susceptible is it right uh, it may not be right in every case but uh, sometimes uh, uh, it gives high yield, but uh, once it once it will be susceptible, it will be susceptible for all the times. It cannot be made resistance for that seed. Then uh, uh, why they are uh, high susceptible? There is a high susceptibility in a, in case of hybrid uh, as compared to the local land races. Why they are more susceptible? It is right. Hybrid are more susceptible uh, than the local land races or the other uh, OP varieties. Uh, it might be due to, sir, uh, one might be due to adjustment in the local environment. Just like as the local, they are adjusted in their environment. So uh, they may be uh, fam favor or familiar with their environment. But uh, hybrid seed uh, might not be familiar in uh, their maybe uh their uh, genetics uh, also depend on this sir do you know what is hybrid how can you define hybrid hybrid means uh, the progeny form two different distinct parents obtained by crossing two different distinct parents progeny okay and uh, what is the mechanism of s to reduce the uh, infestation of disease pest. It, uh, as is toxic to uh, that uh, 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 that pest, either the microbes or the insect, is it right? Uh, yes, uh, as uh, potassium is uh, present and uh, I think uh, it might not be only toxic, but uh, uh, it helps to grow the plants uh, um, nicely so that plants might be resistant by other mechanism then uh, instead of as putting the mop uh, uh, you told the, uh, from your information uh, instead of uh, putting the yes putting the mop is also uh, that is complement or that that we can uh, put the mop instead of as uh, i think that will not be a good idea because uh, uh, in S, it will be already present in organic complex form, but in muriate of potash, uh, uh, it might be difficult to uh, present in the same way as a chemical reaction. So, so. Uh, if uh, potassium is present in the organic form in S, and the ammo in presence of the in case of the MOP, it is easily uh, absorbed in the plant, uh, absorbed by the plant, then the S, then. Uh, 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 from your logic, the potassium from the MOP, that is better than that of the S. 
or what do you think it is toxic rather than providing the uh, potassium or is there any mechanism to reduce the infestation i think uh, it will not be toxic but uh, uh, i think organic will be more uh, familiar than uh, more uh, advantageous than uh, merita pot uh, potash uh, because uh, <clears throat> okay okay do you know what is biocontrol can you define the biocontrol yes biocontrol means uh, using of uh, living organisms uh, like plant parts uh, and other uh, bacteria also we can include there then use of the titipati extract do you know titipati yes sir titipati extract uh, that is uh, if we apply or spray the titipati extract is it biocontrol under the biocontrol mechanism uh, or not by control we can we can include sir we can include okay uh, what uh, do you know there are different type of nozzle in the sprayer do you know yes. there yes, is sometimes that is flat nozzle there is round nozzle uh, for the application of the insecticide uh, which one nozzle uh, do you prefer I think I have no exact idea about there, sir, but uh, in my preference, round will be better. For insecticide or for the all pesticide? I think for all pesticides, uh, round will be better because the velocity will be very fast in round. <laughs> it is not true. Okay. What is the uh, exact uh, waiting interval for the pesticide? Uh, what do you suggest for the farmers? Kosele so the Olani question so no janda kiri. Sir, koti din mathe ham bitti pere khana unse vegetable manera. Koti manera bani or what is the uh, time waiting period? For the pesticide? Uh, it depends on the type of pesticide, sir. Uh, some pesticide have higher waiting period and some pesticide have any few waiting periods. So I recommend them to ask agrovet or other special person if okay. they didn't knew, but. Uh, for every pesticide, it will not be the same waiting period. Okay. Uh, what is the restricted entry interval? Uh, do you know uh, or do you heard about the restricted entry interval? Restricted entry interval? I have not heard. you heard? What is your name? Restricted entry interval? No, sir, I have not heard. Uh, do you heard about the post uh, pre harvest interval? Pre harvest interval? Pre-harvest interval means. Uh, I think uh, I have read in weed science in six semester uh, pre-harvest. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jivan, for the nice presentation. Thank you, Mindas, for um, sir. Uh, these are from my side to evaluate the student. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, Maratha, sir, so, for asking so many questions. It was surprising that uh, so, no, students should not answer if they don't know. Answering every question and uh, actually answering wrong is not good, actually, in your evaluation and even being a you know technocrat. And especially, we are going to be graduate soon. So you should have some graduate attributes to uh, to know what you know and what you don't know, OK? Uh, actually, I was surprised. Most of the responses actually probably Santosh sir was expecting some answers from Jeevan Kandel, but uh, uh, yeah, Jeevan was just uh, you know answering the things without uh, in many cases without actually like you know you couldn't respond so well uh, in few of the question very wrong answer actually. So you should be aware actually all the presenters should be aware that you can you there there is a, a, a always excuses if you don't know okay uh, but there are no excuses for making mistakes okay during presentations but we will talk that later again and lastly if we have some a bit of time to summarize the things and now i want to should i actually give some responses uh, to uh, on behalf of Jeevan Kandel? we can uh, uh, yes. yes because these these in, uh, information are very useful for the other listener i think yeah <laughs> yes like uh santos sir yeah, which question are you not satisfied still yeah can you give me a bit clue so i can probably give a bit of 
uh, waiting periods regarding waiting waiting periods uh, dear g1 you have to give some examples okay there are some pesticides even you can use uh, within three days of application like uh, dichlorobus you know they are supposed recommended to be safe after three days of application there are many other pesticides even they are not safe uh, with we uh, for three months okay and uh, Santos are also asked about the restricted entry periods. Okay, that's based on uh, actually the uh, other uh, category of the pesticides. There are some restrictions to even go to the field where you apply the pesticides. Okay, one cannot uh, enter to the field after the application of the pesticide. That also depends on hazardous group of the pesticides. So you should know these basic things to answer the question. But you are just flat and general answer. Better not to answer actually. Uh, okay, uh, better not to answer many things. And I also suggested you to change many things. I couldn't see that you change all the formats. Even the name of the Santosar actually just uh, uh, actually pointed out, you know. Even proper noun are small later. I told you many times, okay. So you have to consider actually uh, seriously all the comments and suggestions provided by your supervisors, examiners, and even your peer group actually okay so that improves uh, your quality and strengthens your capacity so i suggest all of you to because this is the starting of beginning i know you are the beginner i mean it, the, probably this is your first research so this is a good opportunity to be serious okay and to actually take this issue serious there are some presenters they have very done very well since their big very beginning of the research uh, because you know that solely depends on your will rather than uh, many other stuffs. Okay, if you uh, if uh, if the researcher are very much keenly interested uh, or passionate with their research, probably support small support might be uh, might have magnifying impacts to improve your research and even this okay your write up also. So be careful to take all the comments. Okay, this might be out of area sometime, but these are again insightful for you to improve your. Uh, you should take all the points in like consideration okay after this i like to go to the next presenter we are actually on time because we have a like uh, uh, but the last presenter is prasanta isn't it yes sir uh, are you there yes sir okay then this is your <coughs> present, okay all the best yes, for your Thank you, sir. Is my screen visible, sir? Is my screen visible, sir? Oh, yes. <coughs> Can I present now, sir? Yep, the time starts. <clears throat> So, respected sir and friends, good morning and welcome. All this is Prasant Acharya, the BSc AG student of the CNRM Tikapur, Agri Internet, PMA, MBPA, Uputhan, Raishan. Today, I am going to present about my research topic. The title is Effect of Site Specific Nutrient Management in Spring Rice in Putan District. Moving to the <coughs> next slide, the advisory committee is a major advisor. I have Dr. Mindraj Pokhrel, sir, is a site supervisor. I have Truman Singiri. As a member supervisor, I have Dr. Tapendra Bahadur sir. Going to the next slide, it is outline of the presentation as present in the screen. Uh, moving to the introduction part, uh, rice is the most significant uh, sales crop uh, in terms of the productivity in Nepal and contributes 11.3% of the total agriculture GDP and 4% of the total GDP according to the MOED 2021. <clears throat> the productivity of rice in Putan is 3.8 ton per hectare, which is greater than the national productivity, which is only 3.4 ton per hectare. Proper nutrient management uh, result in better uh, production in rice, but the blanket application of the fertilizer result in over fertilized in some areas and under fertilizing in others, according to the Parthak et al. 2003. Therefore, plants are to be fed with site specific <coughs> nutrient management to yield more. Moving to the statement of the problem, uh, the problems are specific, those of recommendation is not followed strictly in spring rice. Farmers are unaware of uh, nutrient management practice precisely. No, there is no report on the nutrient comparison com uh, carried out in Putan till now. This is the statement of problem. Going to the uh, rational of history, this research uh, supports the use of nutrient by plants as for plant needs. 
Site specific nutrient management SSNM relates the nutrient comparison precisely, and this study enables the farmers to adjust the fertilizer used according to their field condition. Moving to the objective portion, uh, the general objective is to assess the effect of site specific nutrient management uh, practices for uh, increasing spring rice productivity in Bhutan. And the specific objective are to estimate the effect of nutrient management on the phenology of the spring rice, to estimate the effect of nutrient management on spring rice yield and yield attributes and to determine the cost benefits from the nutrient management on spring rice production. <clears throat> now moving to the literature review. Literature review were obtained from the thesis reports and PMAMP publication. The subheading of the literature review are given here. Moving to the methods. This is the map showing the research site and this is the uh, uh, Putan district and this is the Putan Nagar Palika highlighted green and the uh, red one is the actual site uh, which is Putan uh, municipality at Gezbang Putan. Uh, variety I have used is Chaitya Pants and date of sowing to transplanting is Agun 25th, 2078 to Baisak 1st, 2079. Age of seedling is 35 days. Uh, research design was randomized, complete block design, the RCBD single factor. Replication were four replication and each farmer's field is a single replication. The main plot area is six meter square. Number of plot uh, is uh, 24 and spacing is 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter. Plant density per plot is 144. Moving to the treatment, uh, and this is the lay field layout showing the allotment of the treatment. And uh, moving to the treatment uh, from T6, uh, T6 is the nutrient export dose, which is obtained by uh, by the uh, by applying the input uh, to the software that is a nutrient export for rice in uh, India mobile version one. And T1, T2, T3 are the nutrient export recommendation minus omission of NPK. And T4 is the recommended dose that is for irrigated rice uh, according to the Kitsi diary 2079. And T5 are the farmer practices in different sites. So moving to the next slide, it is about the lab test result of the different site uh, and the soil, uh, soil type pH and uh, organic matter and NPK of the soil at research site. Soil type is loamy and sandy loamy type. pH is quite uh, 7.9, uh, uh, 7.6, and 7.8 type. Uh, organic matter is more in uh, site 4, and the NPK is illustrated in the table below. So, <clears throat> moving to the next slide, it is about chart uh, representing uh, temperature rainfall and relative humidity data record during the research period. Uh, the highest temperature recorded in case of the April uh, and low in February. If we see the rain rainfall data before April, there is low rainfall, so the irrigation was made with the help of uh, available channel in the field up to April, and relative humidity is rising with the incidence of the rainfall as illustrated by the chart. So moving to the result portion, uh, in the table one, phenology of rice recorded across the uh, various nutrient management. Uh, the early flowering is other in case of the nutrient expert recommendation and late in case of the farmer field practices. So moving to the table number two, it is uh, plant diet record across uh, nutrient management practices. So at 15 and 30 DAT, the plant diet uh, recorded is not significant at 5% level of significant and after 45 DAT, nutrient expert recommendation is more significant and similar result is observed in case of uh, 60, uh, 60, 75, and 90 DAT, and while uh, nitrogen omission and farmer field practice are less significant in comparison to the nutrient export uh, recommendation. Moving to the table number three, uh, the number of tiller per uh, square meter recorded across nutrient management practice. So uh, the nutrient export recommendation was recorded more significant at all DAT, and uh, if we see up to 60 DAT, uh, the number of tiller per meter square rise, and due to the senescence of the secondary and tertiary tiller, it is declining. Uh, so moving to the next slide, it is about uh, uh, ill-attributed character of rice recorded across nutrient management. If we see the number of effective tiller per uh, meter square, it is more significant in case of the nutrient export and recommendation and less in case of the nitrogen omission. And uh, panicle initiation, uh, panicle length is not significant in all uh, uh, treatment and number of grain per panicle is uh, uh, significant in case of the nutrient export uh, recommendation and uh, similar uh, result uh, is seen in the government recommendation and uh, potassium omission. And uh, if we see the thousand grain weight, uh, it is more significant in case of the nutrient export and potassium omission and less in case of the nitrogen omission and sterility is uh, seen less in case of the nutrient omission, uh, nu nutrient export recommendation. So moving to the next table, it is about rice yield parameter record across nutrient management practices. So if we see the grain yield, uh, yield and biological yield, 
it is more significant in case of the Newton expert elimination and less in case of the uh, nitrogen omission plot uh, and uh, farmer field practice and RBC index is seen non-significant at all. So moving to the next table, it is about cost benefit analysis of the rice across Newton management practices. So if we see the BC ratio, it is more significant in case of the Newton expert recommendation and less in case of the nitrogen omission and farmer field practice due to the gross return more in case of the Newton expert recommendation. So this is about the table, uh, result table. Now moving to the discussion, uh, potassium and uh, uh, potassium and phosphorus promoted early flowering. So with a high amount of similar Newton in the Newton expert recommendation reach early flowering according to Adhikari et al. 2018. According to the Salam, Lucy, COVID and Khan 2011, the use of balanced fertilizer in case of the Newton expert recommended improved plant height. Saidullah et al. 2009 reported the, that the most uh, seedlings tiller peaked at uh, about 55 BAT after which tiller number began to decline, uh, which is uh, due to the senescence of the secondary and tertiary tiller. Moving to the next slide, uh, Doberman and Fierros 2000 uh, claimed that nitrogen fertilizer uh, treatment can enhance plant height, speculate number, and the number of speculate of which. Uh, uh, determine the rice yield capacity and Menet 2017 on his study concluded that the nutrient export in rice uh, increased all yield attributing character nutrient uptake gave higher net return and BC ratio than recommended practice and grain yield, uh, extra yield and BC ratio increased progressively with the increase in fertilizer level targeted for higher yield level according to the part till 2011. So this was the discussion. Uh, moving to the conclusion portion. Uh, among all the new, uh, nutrient management practices, the nutrient export models recommendation practices result in taller plants, more tillers, more product, productive tillers, better grain output, and uh, greater biological yield. So it would be the best practice in case of the Putin district. So here are some of the suggestions for the future research. Uh, use of the SSNM, other SSNM tool, that is uh, leaf color chart and spare meter to depict the uh, nitrogen need of plant uh, could be one of the suggestions and effect of different dose of nitrogen in uh, spring rice growth and yield could be the uh, second suggestion for the future research. Moving toward the acknowledgement, my sincere gratitude to AFU and PMEMP, uh, Major Supervisor Assistant Professor Dr. Mindrat Pokhrel, Site Supervisor Mr. Chuman Singhiri, Member Supervisor Dr. Tapan Ravadursa, staff of PMEMP and Limits for assisting me throughout my research period. Uh, these are some of the glimpses. Uh, this is the picture uh, showing the nursery bed and preparation uh, uh, and mulching. This is during the transplant, uh, planting, uh, seedling uh, for my research on first basic. Uh, this is the basal dose of fertilizer application in the main field, and this is during the data collection. And this was uh, taken during the two days seed, seed production in training conducted by the PMAMP. So, thank you for listening to me. That's it. Thank you, sir. Uh, our last presenter, Prasanta. So uh, the floor is again open to uh, to the participants uh, for, for any queries, questions, and suggestions. Uh, well, we are not expecting any questions. So uh, we want to move to our external examiner, uh, Dr. Santos Morata. Oh, actually, vigorous comments, feedbacks, and even compliments on his thesis. Okay. 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 Thank you, Minda, sir. Thank you, Prasant, for the nice presentation and the nice piece of work. In late, uh, so I have uh, asked some of the questions to you to evaluate yes, you. That maybe sometimes that is out of from the presentation. That uh, uh, in case. Uh, I suggest you to improve at least the uh, conclusion. You must know that uh, your objective is related to the what is the effect of the treatments on the phenology. But there is no single sentence about the phenology uh, in the particularly uh, the objective theory. Uh, uh, there is uh, uh, there is no objective related to the growth. Uh, but in case of conclusion, you have concluded that the taller plant height that is not in case in your objectives. That's why the objective and the conclusion that must be for all objectives, what is the status of your work to complete their objective, something uh, that must be written. And uh, my question is uh, side specific nutrient management. It is a big issue. I know you use the uh, nutrient export tool, which is a very smart tool. And uh, I know 
and uh, my question is who coined the term site specific nutrient management or the concept of site specific nutrient management is there any scientist responsible for that recently sir recently it has been uh, carried uh, out by the uh, i think uh, uh, some of the some of the pmmp level uh, no mai ta bhanna khoje bhai na ki side specific nutrient management ta hamro desh ma matrai haina ta pahila pani bhayo hola in 2011 maile phd mero phd garda around the 11 years back chai maile maile side specific nutrient management ma gareko haina kasle chai elai coined garyo hola yo concept koi scientist kei cha bhanera sodheko koi scientist le concept shuru gareko kei idea cha स्टैंडर्डर Okay, is there any difference between standard error of mean and the standard error of mean difference, and which one is better to put in that uh, this type of the table? What do you think? I think standard error of, of mean is better, sir. Why? It it gives uh, it gives the exact uh, deviation from the uh, average uh, where the treatment is going. then why the tian bushal sir request the student to put the standard error of mean difference i yes, i don't have an idea in this sir if you have no idea then uh, you cannot compare the two thing if you totally don't know about one case then we cannot compare another case with that uh, unknown case okay and okay. in case uh, of your different site i know there is the variability of soil and you have a excellent work uh, that uh, you have maintain a replication or a block um, in the different site as a farmer as a replication i think and in case of the site four the ph is 6.7.6 and the in case of the site three 7.6 and the site four that is the 7.8 can we uh, average these two ph edi hamle chai yo sabai chai yestai aako bhaye dui ta kisan ko 7.6 7.6 auni dui ta kisan ko 7.8 7.8 auni ra hamle chai average ma soil ko ph eti cha bhanera bhanda khiri bhanna sakchu what is the average then commonly ta bhanna milcha hola sir कति हो सिक्स सजिलो तो सोन पोटासियम Phosphorus omission. Okay, yes. then can we conclude that using the uh, nutrient export nitrogen dose and the potassium dose, we can omit the phosphorus, and or uh, we can uh, using the uh, nutrient export dose of nitrogen and potassium, we can omit the phosphorus. to get a yield comparable yield with the uh, uh, that uh, uh, government recommendation maile ke bhanna khojeko bhanda government recommendation ko ra phosphorus ra potassium omission ko ma chai barabar yield cha teso government recommendation prayog gar garnu ra nutrient nutrient export ko nitrogen ra phosphorus prayog garera potassium prayog nagare huncha bhanera conclude garna sakinchha ki sakinna what do you think sokinchha hola sir 
you got a same better result I could hint that we can conclude that. Why that happen? Potassium alara, potassium nala ki viola this to what what is the logic that they that they give the uh, exactly similar yield? Yes, to sir. Potassium let's say pin pochi green kulagi say uh determine gone uh neutron one was a potassium. They were saying uh pinical initiation go well as a potassium apply gory one and say green or say boards of one knee or a concept so they were have you applied the potassium during the pinnacle initiation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or in case in case of neutron export recommendation. I have used uh, potassium uh, in two split, half at basal and half at pinnacle initiation. And phosphorus, the same case is in, in case of phosphorus as well. Phosphorus, I have used uh, at basal, sir. Only full full dose at basal. Then we cannot uh, that uh, apply the phosphorus uh, in split application, can we? I have not found anything like that, sir, uh, till now. Uh, we can, but we, I have no, uh, nothing to say, sir. I don't know. Omission of nitrogen that uh, caused the earlier flowering or uh, that uh, delay the uh, phenology or flowering? What do you think? I think higher nitrogen de uh, delay the flowering, but, yes. uh, but uh, on the, uh, Less nitrogen, nitrogen also delay. Uh, nitrogen. No, no nitrogen. In case of nitrogen yes. omission, there is no nitrogen. Yes. It case, also it also delay the flowering in my results. Sir. And what about the maturity? Maturity also it it is delayed, sir. In maturity also. In nitrogen omission. Nitrogen omission, plot, yes, sir. Okay, what uh, the most of the case, what we believe that uh, the stress of neutron that uh, caused uh, the earlier maturity uh, in most of the case, then why did you observe this type of uh, observation? You must describe uh, in case of the discussion uh, that uh, sometimes uh, some uh, some of the information with are deviated from the uh, normal observation at that time you uh, put your logics and the uh, result and literature focusing on that uh, uh, during the discussion okay thank you okay, uh, thank you uh, uh, prashant uh, for the nice presentation thank you mindrasa it's from my side uh, <clears throat> okay, thank you, Maratha sir, and uh, lastly, Prasanta for responding to actually examiner's comments. Uh, we are actually now end of the session, and I would like to actually uh, thank all of you, the participants and examiners and others, uh, for for this actually long like session of nearly of ten three hours. And lastly, I would like to thank all of the actually concerned personalities actually for training our students on site, especially PM, AMP, staffs, and site supervisors, I mean, and the farmers who supported them by providing the different information. Probably our students got uh, this is a this was a very good opportunity to learn actually on site. Uh, our agriculture system and farmers problems and actually research issues. I hope these uh, some of the learnings will be very interesting to shape your career in the future and uh, even this training, especially this research, on-site uh, research would uh, provide you some insights actually to make you more practical and realistic uh, because that was really, really a good opportunity to go to the site directly and uh, see the farming systems and situation of the farmers and government and other stakeholders intervention in agriculture development so i hope you learned and your capacity is strengthened through the process of lee uh lastly uh is there any actually issue that we have to discuss or we have to uh, do you have any queries and things from the presenter side do you have any Do you have anything to ask? Mean, sir? Yeah, yes. Uh, 
there is a there is a small query on uh, chat box sir chat box oh sorry. okay uh, there ma okay santosh sir okay can you can you see that okay. uh, you the standard error of mean difference than the standard error of mean but uh, we are uh, normally using the standard error of mean uh, that is also the correct uh, but uh, in when we compare about the standard error of mean any standard error of mean difference obviously uh, that from the inferential point of view that is standard error of mean difference is better real ma ki huncha bhanda standard error of mean le chai त्यो पार्टिकुलर ट्रिटमेंट को फर एक्जापल अगि आया थे एसएसएनएम को जो न्यूटन एक्सपर्ट को ट्रिटमेंट लिंता तो चार वा रेप्लिकेशन ले लिंता एवटे ट्रिटमेंट को चार वा भू छो भू को इरर चाहे दिखा इरर तो भू को इरर दिख बट हम अब्जेक्टिव के भाजा तो ट्रिटमेंट रो ट्रिटमेंट को कंपेयर करने हो हम अब्जेक्टिव तो ट्रिटमेंट में इरर कैं हेदा हम भाई अर्क ट्रिटमेंट एज कंपेयर टू गवर्नमेंट रिकमेंडेसन में तो बेटर छि छेन कंपेयर करने हो तो स्टैंडर्ड इरर अफ मीन डिफ्रेस के दिशा भादा खेल ती दुबई ट्रिटमेंट का इन्फ्लुएंसि पपुलेसन में होने इरर के भाजा सीग्निफाई कर पार्टिकुलर इरर विथ इन अ ट्रिटमेंट को होना भर स्टैंडर्ड इरर अफ मीन डिफ्रेस लेख्ता मीन सर ने तो विद्यार्थी हराने पर भाला है पर्टिकुलर भैलू में इरर लेख् पर्च कि जो अगि आए नहीं सिक्स पॉइंट कति टन थी प्लस माइनस तेन पर्च स्टैंडर्ड इरर अफ मीन लेख्ता खेल जब हम टेबल को तल गए लेखन थाल्चों बेला में तो सब ट्रिटमेंट को लेख्पे तो बेला में स्टैंडर्ड इरर अफ मीन डिफ्रेस नर्मली लेखि बट हम सान रिसर्च भोलि पोलिस इंप्लिकेसन नौनी हमें पपुलेसन में तीत धेरे नराख्नी एसिम लेखी रहा हो बेटर टू यू द स्टैंडर्ड इरर अफ मीन डिफ्रेस ड्यूरिंग द कंपेरिजन अफ द ट्रिटमेंट्स फर इन्फ्लुएंसि पपुलेसन में ज्यादा खेल दैट्स फ्रम माई साइड पच्चीस अब कत न कत पढ़ाई कुछ भनला डिटेल में एक्जापल ओके थैंक यू टू ऑल प्रेजेंटर यू ऑल आर दैट प्रिपेयर द स्लाइड वेरी वेल एंड प्रिपेयर फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन एंड यू हैव गिवन द एज फार एज पॉसिबल यू हैव एंसर द क्वेश्चन विच इज रेज बाय मी आई एम आल्सो नॉट फ्रॉम द दैट पार्टिकुलर फील्ड आई एम नॉट फ्रॉम द सोशल साइंस नॉट फ्रॉम द इवन द पेस्टिसाइड्स और अदर थिंग सो दैट दैट्स व्हाई मे बी सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच आर ऑल्सो सीम्स टू बी द इलॉजिकल बट दो इलाजिकल दीज आर द फ्रॉम द लेम एंड पॉइंट्स ऑफ व्यू दैट्स वाई यू मस्ट नो बिकॉज वेन यू आर गॉन टू द फील्ड एट दैट टाइम देर इज द नो लेम एंड लाइक मी दैट्स वाई यू मस्ट नो दिस टाइप अफ इन्फर्मेशन थैंक यू टू यू ऑल थैंक यू मिंद्रा सर फॉर होस्टिंग एंड थैंक यू फ्रॉम माई साइड Uh, lastly thank you all there are still other questions actually darshan is also asking one question bcr okay. that, that is uh, uh, used to determine with uh, discounting uh, if you are uh, conducting uh, research related to focus around euda kunai crop chai 3 mahina ko 4 mahina ko cha bhane hamle discounting garna pardaina but uh, when you go for the biennial or the perennial crops or the system हमें कहीं कहीं राइस विट सीस्टम दुई तीन वर्ष को होना सकता नहीं क्रप महीना तीन चार महीना में ऊ भाई भी जब हम तस्त में जाऊ बेला में हम डिस्काउंटिंग में जानू पर्व क्यों भादा हमें हेर न बैंक में भादा खेल तीन महीना चार महीना में बल्ल चाहे लोन तीर्न भनी रहा होता भर खोजे तीन चार महीना समय हम नर्मली डिस्काउंटिंग करतेन विथ इन अ सीजन सीजनल क्रप लाई बट नत्र जो सुगर कैन छोला हमें डिस्काउंटिंग करवा पेरिनीयल क्रप्स बेला में डिस्काउंटिंग और सीमिलर क्वेश्चन सीमिलर क्रप बट एक्रस द इयर हेरे भेस बेला में डिस्काउंटिंग करट्स फ्रम माई साइड ओके uh yeah probably that was the last question and i thank all of you for even, even that's we can do the chi square test even okay, the really. value is less than 5 but there may, may be the uh, some correction that is called the aids correction you can uh, go through the google that's give the idea uh, if not uh, you can meet uh, directly meet me then i will uh, uh, that uh, elaborate more okay thank you from my side
Uh, okay, again, June, thank you for asking question. And lastly, we got like three, four, lastly, written questions on messenger message actually. So probably you got responses. And I want to add a bit of things actually regarding this standard error of the mean because this is standard practice, standard tradition, uh, writing plus minus after the mean. Okay, actually, this is standard error things. Uh, the mean already we do have idea which particular treatment is superior to or inferior to as compared to others. But uh, researchers are even interested on the variability within the data. So uh, this is a tradition of actually put, uh, I mean, keeping plus minus standard error after that, uh, just to get a bit of idea on variability within the data. So I don't know about this standard error of mean difference. We can we can derive many more things where, where this might be again. I don't know. This is standard in practice, especially in papers, Santosh sir. Standard error of mean difference. That's yes, standard error of mean difference. Uh, no, no, I mean, yeah, we've seen in uh, standard papers like uh, very yeah. interesting. Uh, 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 so, regarding uh, this, uh, uh, thank you. Mean for difference that. like focus on the focus. This company advantage. Uh, yeah, you can you can get idea uh, again with variability. I mean, across the gross mean. So, this is again good to know that. And lastly, about this discounting and compounding, actually, especially in survey research, if you if the respondent is giving the information that five years back, so probably you have to compound that information to make it the present value. Okay, and so do you do you probably know discounting and compounding uh, especially useful in uh, economics? So probably we couldn't respond that well in some of the issues actually in out of our expertise, but still. I suggest all of you to consult actually relevant uh, experts and subject teacher because you might have relation with your uh, you you have gone through different course so you might have good relation with your actually teachers again and uh, I suggest you all to consider this as a very important actually piece of work uh, because we have been probably a bit strict and actually like you know uh, very strict like uh, suggesting you hardly to do that because this is a part of training so uh, I think you will take all the all, all the like learning process. Okay, uh, these all were done for your strengthening your capacity and to improve your actually this thesis, a piece of false pioneer work you have done. So I again uh, actually congratulate all of you. Can I, Santosh? Yes, I have already given the congratulations to. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, then okay. <laughs> So on 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 behalf of actually on permission from actually external examiner, I congratulate all of you for your presentation. I think you are now uh, to actually on the process uh, to actually complete your Lee program, and you have to incorporate all of the.